Hey friends, it's Quenby, the Grateful Queen, here on YouTube, and I am back with another Thread Up Rescue Box Mystery Unboxing video. This happens to be the women's mixed clothing size box, 25 items for $60. I did pay shipping on this one this time, and if you've been following along, you know that I got my best thread up box ever. You can check out this video here. Um, I got that one last month and then I got a men's box. So I opened that on the channel and that one, when I was opening it, I didn't think it was that great. But then when I was looking up some of the items and comps, I think I'm going to do fine on that men's box. So here is my third um, thread up rescue box during stay at home. I have some old ones from like earlier in the year up on the channel too if you're interested in seeing kind of historically how I've done with these thread up boxes. Um, after I got that really good women's box, I immediately went and ordered another one and this one took three weeks before they even shipped it. So I think during stay at home, a lot of people are taking advantage of the reselling of the mystery boxes. <gasps> Wow, hey, look, babe. <laughs> this one you've been for. Does it feel heavy? It's, it's heavy. 25 items. Well, it's not quite 25 pounds, but uh, maybe 15. Let me just tell you before we get right into this, I understand that buying a thread up rescue box is a risk. Items could have damage. Items could be not high quality brands or styles that are out of fashion. It's always a risk when you buy a mystery box. I totally get that. And I still buy them because I enjoy a mystery box. And if you get a good one, it's such a good, um, your cost of goods is really good on these boxes. $60 for 25 items is really good. So, if you happen to be new here, hi, I'm Quenby, and this channel's all about my adventures of reselling as a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay and Poshmark right now. I might be adding other platforms in the future. I'm always mixing things up and changing them in my business, and this channel's really all about my adventures and my joy of reselling. I love having a part-time um, side hustle. I get to work from home as a reseller and make money and be my own boss. So it's really great. So this channel is all about everything reselling and we would love to have you as part of our community here on the channel. I'm looking down at the box. I see what looks like a blazer. Blazers can be really good or not so great. So let's get into it. I'm just too excited. Oh, I see something new with tags. Um, just so you know, if you're new to this whole mystery box thing, well, this could be good. Um, everything always comes like, it's just in the box. Nothing's buttoned up, nothing's, you know, packaged. So I'm gonna button this up before I show you. Um, this is nice, actually. Let me know what your experience is with this brand. Um, okay, this is a women's blazer. It feels really nice. The quality, what's the best way to show it over here? The quality of this feels really nice. It's gray, two button blazer. It has all this like um, stitching detail. And this brand, it says Style Benetton. So that's the brand United Colors of Benetton. I need to actually do a little bit of research about this brand, you guys, because when I was um, a teenager in the 90s, United Colors of Benetton was a super hot brand. Are they still making stuff? Um, like, is this new or is this vintage? I don't know. I have to do a little re research. It feels amazing. I don't see a size tag. It looks like it's in good shape. You always have to watch out for flaws in these boxes. Size 42. So what is that in U.S. sizing? I will have to do a little bit of research. But this is a nice piece. I think I can do okay with this. Um, kind of, I don't know if it's like classic. It's kind of classic more than current style. But blazers can do pretty well, and they're expensive at my thrift store. If I do any research on these items before I get the video up, you guys, I will pop, pop up anything I learn, like comps or um, any brand information or anything like that. I'll put it in. This is new with tags, but it's not a great brand. So this is a women's dress. New with tags and a rescue box is pretty good, though. The brand is Speechless Size Large. I have a feeling this is like maybe a Junior's brand. It doesn't look like a high quality brand, but it retailed um, 
for $47 and it's a size large, so that's good. Just a navy, um, a navy women's dress. With, it's kind of cute actually. It has like this nice um, tie waist detail, so that's great. New with tags I can sell. If you, um, if you're ever watching one of my videos and there's something in the video you want, because that happens to me all the time, I'll be watching someone's haul and I'm like, oh, I want that. Just um, message me on Instagram at the Grateful Queen B or all my contact information's in the description section down below. This is super cute. I don't know what it is. This is like a tank, like a cropped tank top, but it's made out of sweater material and it's got this kind of cool acid wash distress. This looks almost like very free people to me. Oh, but it's not. It's Bella Lux. I'm not super familiar with that brand. Are you guys? Size extra small, Bella Lux Los Angeles. It feels soft and nice, and it feels like this would be something that someone might wear like a young woman to a festival or something, because it's kind of crochet and distressed looking, low in the back, like a little crop top. I cannot wear a crop top as a 44 year old woman. Uh, maybe you can, and that's awesome. You can rock that. Let's see. Huh, this is a women's blouse. It's kind of a burgundy red wine color and it has a really cute flower print um, and a sheared sleeve. So it's like elastic um, and a high neck with some pleating. Oh look, it's got the, one of these little um, snap closure here. So a keyhole, this is called a keyhole cutout in the back. It feels silky. At first I thought it was cheap, but it's actually Ann Taylor Petite. Um, petite extra small. So that as a reseller, um, my hope is I'm buying these things so that I can resell them for profit online on eBay and Poshmark. So I'm always hoping there's some things in here that I can sell to make my money back. I also just love a great mystery box and I'm a big fan of ThreadUp. I know there's some issues with them sometimes, but overall in my experience shopping for um, mystery boxes, I've bought so many mystery boxes from them. They're called rescue boxes and I bought just off their site. I'm a fan of ThreadUp, but um, anyway, this is Ann Taylor Petite. Ann Taylor will sell okay and it's kind of cute and these flowers are really sweet. I'm gonna hold it up a little closer. I actually really like that, but an extra small petite, yeah, it'll be hard to sell. I hope to see you guys. Oh my gosh, another new attack. What? You are kidding me. Hold on, I was gonna tell you something. Maybe it's damaged. Sorry, I'm having a total moment, you guys. Um, I'm pretty nervous about this box because after you get a couple good ones, can you still get another good one? And no. ThreadUp does not sponsor me. No, I don't think they know who I am with a little channel like mine and send me any special stuff. But this is a new with tags Diane Von Furstenberg dress. I'm like, what? Can you see this? Sorry if the light. Okay, I'm like, wow. Okay, I've never got new with tag Diane Von Furstenberg. Um, she is a, she's like the creator of the classic wrap dress. Okay, so let's look this thing over. I'm like, what could be up? It's a size six. It feels like 100% silk. Oh my gosh. I'm just like, what is happening right now? I'm trying to check. Okay, let me. Okay, this is a very long red wine color silk. New tag down from first of our dress, but it's kind of complicated. I think what it is is a cold shoulder, a long sleeve cold shoulder, an open back. And um, a high-low hem. This dress has so much going on. And I'm hesitating because I'm wondering if there's something wrong with it. Because there are these little tiny, there are these little tiny stitch marks, but they're consistent. I gotta see if this is silk. I'm like having like, no way did they put new with tag Dion from first of her dress in my, it's 100% silk. In my, in my DIY box. Like, um, these are rescue boxes. You have to, you have to manage your expectations with thread up rescue boxes because it's like some of the stuff could be, um, just making sure I'm filming. Some of the stuff could have damage. It might've sat on their site and it didn't sell. It might have been something they don't take like men's items or, um, it had some sort of flaw. So I'm going to look this over carefully and I'll report back. 
Um, because is it a new attack flawed side six? I, I don't even, there is some like, but I can't, it's on both sides. So this is what I'm noticing. I wish I could show it to you. So along the stitching, it's almost like there's little, like the stitching little holes or something, but it's that way on both sides. I don't know, more on that later. I'm floored if I, if I got an, I got a new attack style <laughs> on first work silk dress. I'm like, what? Okay, moving right along. Thank you, Thread Up. This is cute. Super cute, classic women's A-line skirt, white, and it's all lace eyelet. So, um, this is really classic. Sorry, I, I gotta press pause. I'm like in shock. I gotta go look at that dress. Okay, so, um, there is some, some little flaws on this dress. I just don't know how to describe them, the Diane von Furstenberg dress. Like, in the silk, it's, uh, it's really fine, delicate fabric, and in the silk, there's almost like some little pulls, so that's stuff I would, not pulls, but like, and not holes, but like runs, maybe? So I'm going to have to really, um, do a little, yeah, see, like, so it's a little flawed, um, and, it, and it's not even showing up on camera, I bet. I wanted to see if there was a price on this, too. $528. Okay. So it is got some little flaws. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do about that. Now let's get back to this adorable skirt. I was going to say white is hard as a reseller to sell because oftentimes it has some kind of flaws. Um, why is my camera blinking at me? What is up? We'll find out. Um, this is super sweet. Let's check for a brand apostrophe size 10. Um, I think that might be sold at like Macy's, but it looks perfect. Like with white as a reseller, you have to look it over very carefully because often there's tiny little flaws in white. Um, but this looks like brand new. Like to me, this looks and feels like it's not worn. Super sweet, like a high-waisted skirt. Great for this time of year. So that's a nice piece. So here's sweater. So I like some of this stuff might be seasonal too. Like we're going into spring and summer now. So they might be sending me some stuff in a rescue box that like, um, might be out of season. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is nice. This is Tahari. Black label Tahari. Now there, Tahari has different lines and there's like Ellie Tahari. There's different Tahari lines and some are better than others. So I'll have to do a little research, but this is cool. It's like a white uh, cream beige cowl neck sweater. And um, it's got some like ribbing detail which is kind of nice let's see what the fabric is it feels nice it's cotton poly nylon and spandex i don't see any flaws just looking real quick it's got a nice shape you see what i mean like it's like an oatmeal color cowley turtleneck and then it's like it's got a nice shape to it i like that i like that piece this is super cute, whatever this is. I'm liking this box so far, but you never know. What we have to think about is, see, I have to make back, to make this box worth it kind of as a reseller, I have to make my $65 approximately back, and then hopefully there's some profit and it's work to list and photograph everything. So we wanna decide whether we think it's worth it. This is so adorable. It's a black floral skirt, and I'm loving the pleating detail. Can you see that? It's sort of like structured. So um, I like that. And it's by H&M Divided. So not a high-end brand or anything. But still super cute piece. Size US 6. Great for right now. I like that. Right along. Let's see what this is. Huh. I don't know. This brand Signature by Larry Levine. Size 10. A women's blazer. It feels like maybe it's wool or something. Um, let me button this up for you. Hold on a sec. Okay, so I don't think this brand is anything like crazy special, but I love this jacket actually. It's a button-up blazer. Look at the pleating in the front, but it's got a peplum hem where it goes in at the waist and then goes out with all this pleating, and it's kind of a camel hair color. Size 10 is a good size, so... Um, I like this particular piece. It's not wool though, it's poly rayon. It is lined with like a pinstripe lining. 
So um, I like that. I don't know what I can sell this for. Probably like 20 bucks or something. Ooh, here's some athletic wear. Athletic wear has been selling really well. These are kind of a high-waisted skinny legging, which is good. That's what people are looking for right now. And these are Fabletics. So there's the Fabletics logo. I always think it's good. I have, a, I have a video somewhere on the channel about some of my favorite fitness brands because a lot of times um, they have a hang tag Fabletics and it's cut out. These look like a newer style power hold by Fabletics. I like this high waist and um, I'm looking for a size. I'm gonna look, there's a little pocket here. I don't see a size. Um, it's harder to sell stuff without a size, but I can always put measurements in. But I would guess these are like a large, medium, a large. Actually, these might not make it to Poshmark because I really like those. I've been wearing a ton of leggings, as I bet some of you are too, um, during stay at home. It's like leggings. I was saying to, <laughs> I was saying to Peter, I'm like, babe, I'm gonna actually put some makeup on and get myself together a little bit because I'm making a video, and that's pretty much the only time I'm doing it. Like if I have a video call with clients on my other job, or if um, I'm making a video, it's like time to pull myself together. What is this? This looks vintage. Okay, um, and there's a big hole in it. This piece is not good. So this is Express, but this is like a super old Express tag. It's a women's maxi skirt. It has a cute print, but it feels like vintage. Um, and the style's kind of vintage. Now, vintage sells. I've sold a couple vintage dresses lately that I'm like, I don't personally think they're like super attractive, but right now a lot of the young people, especially people of all ages, but I'm noticing it a lot in the young people, like in the 20 year old, they're wearing all the stuff from the nineties that I was wearing. So if I pick something up and I'm like, oh, that looks like what I wore, what I was wearing in high school. I'm like, that'll probably sell. But this also has a big hole in it. So this is a total reject. Look at that. Like, I don't think thread up could have missed this hole. It's like a big hole. So that's just, trash re no not even redonate because it's trash okay uh i don't know what this is but it feels not so what is this this is a women's dress like a mini dress and it's ribbed and gray but look at this thing what is that it's like a giant safety pin a baby safety diaper pin is that what that's called i don't know this brand it looks maybe like it's a boutique brand Yan Ye Six. I'll do a little research. It could be this crazy designer piece, but what I think it is is like a um, maybe a boutique piece. I think it's a dress. It could be a like a shirt. But there you have it. If I find anything else about that brand, I will let you know. This is a pair of um women's career pants. I'm zipping them up. Why does everything come unzipped? I don't know. Is it like how they sort it or photograph it? Okay, ooh, these are nice, older. These are an older, but these are J. Crew. J. Crew sells well. This looks like an older J. Crew tag, size six wool. But these are nice. These are a high waisted, like career trouser. Really nice, rich black color, wide leg. And I'm feeling, because it feels like, have these been hemmed? No, they're not hemmed, they're lined. So a nice pair of work trousers. Maybe a little dated. This looks like a stain, but I think it's just a fuzz. Let me see. Like a really classic high-waisted pocket, really wide leg um, J. Crew trousers. So I can probably sell those for sure. Maybe in the like $20 to $30 range. I don't know what this is. Um, about us, size XL. Maybe a Junior's brand because this doesn't look like it would be um, a woman's XL. Because I'm like a size... 10, 10, 12 maybe, and this looks small, but it's like a black, almost like a thermal top with gold stripe. I'm gonna guess Junior's XL, kind of cute. It's like an off shoulder too, so that could look really good on. Oh my God, what is this? This is what I see in the box. Some sequins, sequin stuff. So um, lots of sequins, which is cool. So it's a blouse, all sequins, kind of like a three-fourths uh, wide-ish sleeve. And then the back is just a sheer white. But that would be fun for like a party. This is endless rose, size large. 
Endless Rose was not a brand I was really familiar with, but on the channel, I have a video from a B&G trading unboxing that I did. If you're interested in a B&G box, I have a 20% off code. I, I'm pleased with my B&G box experience, and there's lots of other YouTubers up who have videos unboxing B&G stuff. It's a great way to get new tag or, um, you know, trendy, stylish um, items if you need inventory. But Endless Rose was not a brand I was familiar with, but I got a lot of Endless Rose in that box, new tag, and I want to say it's sold like at Nordstrom Rack or Macy's, but this is a cute piece. Like, this would look so good with some high-waisted trousers if you had like a party or an event. I don't think it retails that high. Some of this stuff I'm looking in here and I'm like, uh, ooh, actually these are good. And I was looking in like, I don't know about this. So I just saw this fabric and I thought it maybe looked old, but it's like um, eyelet green fabric. And these are J. Crew mercantile size large. So that's awesome. So I, from my last thread up, box that women's box that was like my best box ever i have not even gotten most of that stuff listed as a part-time reseller um i'm slower to get stuff listed but i did get a j crew mercantile vest in that box that i did get listed it sold like in 24 48 hours so i think it's a good brand these are oh no they have like a big hole in them i was gonna say size what's that oh it's my tassel from my shirt I was going to say, size large, green eyelet pants, super cute, great for the season, but look, there's like a huge hole in the butt. Like, oh, what can you do with that? It's like, it is lined and it doesn't go all the way through. So I guess I could like stitch it up, but I kind of stink at that. Like as a reseller, some resellers are so good at like mending their stuff and I did do some mending during stay at home. I usually just feel like I do not have time for that, but um, I did do some mending and then you can sell flawed things. You can list it like flawed item. I mended it or whatever and it, and it can still sell, but I just don't feel like doing it. <laughs> I don't know this brand, but this is kind of cute. It's like a terry cloth dress and it's classic. Like when I see something that's like this, like white with a navy stripe, I just think, oh, that's more of like a classic nautical almost piece and it's a short sleeve with some little cute pleating i like that sleeve it's almost like a balloon sleeve but it's only three fourth does anyone know this brand spirit of grace size small i've never heard of it and leave it in the comments so other people can learn um it's like a large or extra large like that's a pretty big dress that looks comfy cute it would be a great like um swim cover-up what is this I don't know a lot of these labels. I'm like, what am I getting? Brunette, the label. Anyone know anything about that? This is a maybe a graphic tee. It's a size small medium. And it's kind of like a peachy color. So it's just a short sleeve tee. And, but then it says blonde. Like it's embroidered. And I'm wondering why. Like um, brunette, the label. And then it says blonde. I don't know. It feels super soft. Does anyone know anything about this? Maybe if I could do a little research. Sometimes what I do is I have this huge pile on the floor here of everything I unboxed for you guys. And it's like, then I start picking through and I often find things with flaws or find things I didn't notice um, pro or con during the video. And then I do a little research like, what is this brand? So if I'm able to do that, before I get this up, I'll pop some info. But if you guys know anything, that'd be great if you left it in the comments. Okay, here we keep going. So I do a live show on Fridays called Live at 5. It's 5 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're on the East Coast, it's 8. And I'd love to see you guys there. It's really more of a chance for us to talk, share what we're up to in our business, more of like a community event. Um, okay, anyway, yeah, I'd love to see you at the Live at 5. That's a fun night where we all kind of get to connect. Trying to do a lot more live. So these are Ann Taylor size four. And these are like a fancy career trouser. Like I'd call these a dress pant just because of the way the fabric feels and the way um, they're styled. They're like a high waist. These look like they have a long inseam. And um, they're really beautiful actually. I don't know if the color is showing up for you guys, but it's like a, almost like a lavender, I think. Looking to see any flaws. What's this? 
Just a little spot there. I don't know, these are really nice dress pants. I don't have a ton of experience selling dress pants because um, I'm just not drawn to them. Like, where are you drawn to in the thrift store? Like, oh, I miss thrifting so bad. I haven't been in so long. But anyway, um, like, where do you go in the thrift store? Like, I... I want to go usually to the fitness stuff because I, I sell fitness stuff really well. Um, but then I, I love to go to the dresses, um, tops. Like I love selling tops like the one I have on, peasant style type tops. But I don't usually go to the um, dress pants or like bla blazer section, but they can sell well. I know a lot of people make a lot of money selling um career wear. These look like vintage to me too. I forgot like several things in this box that to me look like vintage. This is the brand Raffaella, but they do say, um, oh, hold on. The door is opening. Okay. That was Peter came home. My partner, Peter came home after running an errand. These are interesting. I'll have to do some research. So I don't think this brand is anything too great. Raffaella, but these are size 14, so that's good. And they say 100% worsted wool. W-O-R-S-T-E-D. What is that? To me, these look vintage. They're super high waist. Um, they have front pleats. And they're like a brown wool pant. I just don't know. I have had success selling things that are wool. They're lined. They have some like dog or animal hair on them. And it does say dry clean. So I might be able to just like steam them to sanitize them and then um, use my lint brush on them. Yeah, these are interesting. They don't look like a 14 either, which is also what makes me think vintage because they're worn higher up on the true waist. So we'll see, I don't think that's anything great. I see a new with tag item, that's cool. Um, okay, so this is a bodysuit. Let me get the strappies right so I can show it to you. For those of you who know my son Torvald, um, I'm going to put his newest clip. I, he likes to make little video clips for me for my YouTube videos. He's super into it. He makes them up himself. I don't tell him what to say. He puts them in. And so I'm going to add in this video one of his new clips with his rubber chicken. Super cute. Oh, you must subscribe to Grateful Queen. Okay, this is a women's bodysuit. It is by BP. BP is a Nordstrom Rack house brand. And this is cute, but the only thing is it only retailed for 14 bucks. So as a reseller, I'm not sure what I can really do with that. Um, and it's got like a thong, a thong. So there we go. What is this? Whoa, getting down here because the box, what on earth is this? What I do not... Oh. Okay, so <laughs> see, this is one of the reasons I love getting mystery boxes, you guys. It's like, you never know what you're going to get. I find it to be really fun. Okay, look at this. It is like a women's long, silky tunic style dress with very high um, side slits. I wonder if it's like a swim cover up, you guys. Dana Buckman, yeah, but it is... Um, 100% silk, and I love selling 100% silk. It tends to sell well. Size small. I mean, that's kind of neat. Like, that's kind of a unique special piece that somebody might just like really like. Um, I It's gotta be like a resort wear or a swim cover up. Interesting, so we'll see about that. Oh gosh, I got so much, um, this is like the career pant uh, box. This is La Suit. I've sold this before. It's some kind of special career wear. I've they, I've sold dry clean only, what is it, linen? What are these? See, so it's like sometimes the fabric quality really matters. Like you can sell things that are silk or linen well, regardless of brand sometimes. These are polyester though. So anyway, these are size six high-waisted pinstripe women's career pants. I think these usually come in sets, if I remember right, correctly from this brand, La Suit. I think it's usually like there's a top and bottom and I don't, there's something about them that I remember, like maybe they're Easy Care or um, something like that. This looks cool, whatever this is. Oh, this is nice. This is 
stylish and nice. I like this. Okay, this is Loft. I got some pieces in here that are Ann Taylor. Loft is by Ann Taylor, but um, it's kind of trendier stuff. It sells better for me. This is a blazer, but it's super like modern. So it's gold, um, kind of like a tweed almost with a black trim, but it's cropped. See how the see how the oh wait it does have a button i thought it was open button but it looks like it's probably kind of fitted at the waist and then it's um it flares out a little bit so this is a good piece i like that a lot like that's such a modern i think kind of sophisticated career piece it's got some nice lines on it i don't know i kind of like that i think that that'll sell just fine size eight okay last item let's see this box has been pretty good. I mean, there's plenty of stuff. I got some damaged stuff. I got some stuff with brands that I just don't think they're worth much, but I got some really good things. You know what I'll do? I'll do like a recap in the end of what I think the best things were. Okay, this is something. Oh my gosh, this is Torrid. Torrid is sold at the mall, but it's plus size and it's really like trendy stuff and it sells really well. This is a Torrid 6, which means 6X. Could that be right? Because usually they do like a two at Torrid is 2X, a three is 3X, 6X. And it still has the button bag. So I don't see tags, but it's new probably without tags because it still has the button bag. Oh my God, this is so cute. You guys, it's a romper. I love this. Look at this. It's like an olive green romper. I think it is a 6X because it's a, it's a, it looks like a 6X. Any flaws or anything on it? That's so cute. Torrid sells really well for me, kind of in the like $20, $30 range usually, but a romper and it's new without tags, I bet that'll do great on either eBay or Poshmark. The only thing I'm noticing is like on the um, tie here, there's like some loose thread that I can just like cut right off, but otherwise it looks great. So let's do a quick recap of some of my favorite pieces. Definitely this Torrid piece. Actually, guys, I think this was, in the end, a really pretty great, excellent box because when I'm looking through, um, I'm looking at those J. Crew mercantile pants, size large with the hole in the butt. That was really disappointing. But like, there's so many pieces I love. It's hard to pick my favorite. Like, I really love this H&M skirt. And I bet I can get like 20, 25 for that just based on style. It's kind of structured with those pleats. I really like this Ann Taylor silky blouse with the flowers. It is a small size, but I really love it. Obviously, the Diane Von Furstenberg $528 new tag dress, but it does have some little flaws, and I have to see what that means. And I love this top, you guys, from Endless Rose with all the sequins. I mean, I don't, I'll probably get like $20.25 for it, but I just really like it. I really like this Ann Taylor loft gold um, blazer. And um, I really like these Fabletic pants. I might keep them, but I might sell them. Fabletics has been selling for me really well for the skinny high-waisted leggings um, in the like $18 to $24 range. And they sell pretty quick and it's like a consistent kind of bread and butter item for me. So I'm really pleased with that box. All that stuff for $60 dollars plus shipping and I oh gosh I think the shipping was $6.99 I'll put it up here um in the video they didn't include that invoice but um I think it was a great box tell me what you guys think and um I'll see you in the next video bye